Almighty Father will worship and reference you. But the great God, the Lord of Lord, we worship, we reference, we magnify your holy name. Thank you so much because of this period that you've helped us to understand your word. You read the word Revelation time, that you gave us the word with good explanation. Oh Lord, today we have come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh Lord, we want to see your word to understand the land and to know who we are supposed to worship and appreciate who is the Lamb, and to know the warnings that are given for the laity and the licentious. Help us so that we will not fall to the snares of the deceivers and be able to live a life that is pleasing unto you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this special Monday Bible teaching. Why is it special? Because we are appreciating God for what he has done in this uh, few period, few times, few days that we're involved in the revelation time. Uh, if you have been following us, by the grace of God, we have actually been on our uh, revelation time for this 2020. By the grace of God today, it's an appreciation to God and we worship His holy name because He's worthy to be praised, to be magnified. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Today, let us, we are actually looking at that text from Revelation 22, 1 to 15. I will read, pay attention as we continue. But as you are opening to Revelation, to Revelation chapter 22, we will be looking at the topic worship and appreciation to the Lamb, the light. Hallelujah! Our the Lamb, who is the one that is the light in heaven, in the, in the city, in the land that is actually so holy and that the worthy King and Master lives is the light and is the glory of the Father. We are going to read it now. God bless you as you are turning to Revelation 22, 1 to 15 and Issue me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, on the either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which are which bear twelve manners of food, and yielded a fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for healing of the nation. I pray. As we actually go out as children of God, and as we are appreciating God and living a life that is appreciated unto God, our life, we will be bringing out actually medication spiritual. We will be bringing out actually solution to people around us in Jesus' name. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, educationally, occupationally, maritally, our life is a solution to people. Because the Bible says the tree was for the healing of the nation. We heal them from their sin. We heal them from their sickness. We heal them from their satanic oppression. Verse 3. And there shall be no more curse. But the throne of God and the Lamb shall be near, and his servant shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. And there shall be no night there, for they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto them, These saints are faithful and true. And Lord, the Lord God of holy prophets, sent his angel to shew unto his servant the things which must shortly be done. This thing will come to pass. Verse 7. Behold, I come quickly. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saying of this prophecy of the the saying of the prophecy of this book keep it don't just hear don't just read keep it because it is the doer that will justify and i john saw the things i heard them and when i had i had heard and seen i fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me this thing eh? worshiping angel why look at what the angel said verse 9 then said it unto me, See thou do it not. 
for I am thy fellow servant, and for thy brethren, and of thy brethren the prophet, and of them which keep the saying of this book, worship God. After that particular colon, he said, the only, only one you can worship is God, not pastor, not preacher, not anyone. Please, from today, don't worship anybody. Worship God. And that's why we have come to say, we worship God and appreciate the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Jesus and his Father, they are one. Because the Bible says, the Son that shall be given unto us, he shall be Almighty God, the Prince of Peace. And who is the Almighty God? Father and Son share that glory. So we can worship the Lamb that is the light and appreciate what he has done. So I continue by the grace of God today. Worship God. You can mark it in your Bible. The last two words in, chapter, in verse 9. Revelation 22 verse 9. Worship God. Don't worship angels. Verse 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the saying of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. It's now it's opening. It is starting. Little by little, the churches are there. So it's happening. Look at what is happening to the church. Don't seal it. Tell it to go out and give it out. And he said unto him, Seal not the saying of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Verse 11. He that is unjust, warning, let him be unjust. Hey. And he which is filled, let him be filled this thing. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous thing. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Which one will you pick? Why not look at the word of God? The Bible says, be ye holy. Be ye holy as your father is holy. Be ye perfect. The Bible says, seek ye for the kingdom of God and the righteousness. All that thing shall be had there. So that you will not be filthy or just. Don't seek other things. Seek the kingdom. Seek the righteousness. So that be righteous and pure and holy still. Verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. To give every man according to his work shall be. The reward of A will not be given to me. My reward will not be given to A. Think about that. Verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. The first and the last. Is it not worthy to be worshipped? The beginning and ending. All in all. Let's worship him. Blessed are they that do his commandment. So, to be blessed, we need to do the commandment. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Hallelujah. The city where Christ, where Jesus, the Lamb, is the light. No. Okay, let's continue verse 15. For without, this is the warning to laity, to licensio, to freelance. Even to us that say we are Christian, warning. For without, outside, are, gay, are dogs. Behavior like dogs that can actually fornicate anywhere. They actually dirty. They use their heart to smell everywhere. And they can bark and make noise. Eh, for nothing. Without our dogs and sorcerers and all mangas and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. This is warning. But we need to come out of the warning. 3.1 to see. But before that time, let's see what I, the word of God says in the book of Isaiah. Are you there with me? Let's look at Isaiah chapter 34, chapter 42, verse 8. Open the Bible with me. God bless you. Thank you so much. I love that. God bless you. Isaiah 42, verse 8. I am I'm the Lord. This, that is my name. And my glory I will not give to other. Neither my praise to graven image. God is not ready to share his glory. And please be aware. We do not worship angel, but worship God. Let's go to Psalm 34. Open the Bible with me and let's see together. Psalm 34. And I read from verse 1 to 3. As God is helping us to understand his precept. Psalm 34, 1 to 3. And we bless the Lord all the time. His praise, his praise, shall continually be in my mouth. Ah, he's, he has made us victorious. In this revelation time, he helped us. He's, he spoke to us. He encouraged us. Inspire us. He make us new being to be better than before. Verse 2. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Magnify the Lord with me. And that's what we are doing today. 
we are going to magnify him. But we are still three points so that we can get ourselves allotted, get ourselves aligned, get ourselves in affirmation of the world, and stand in the place of actually uh, people that are worthy to worship and to appreciate him, a potential heavenly worshiper. It shall be sold in Jesus' name. Three points we are looking at. One, word of the wonderful lamb. Word on the wonderful lamb. That's what we see from one to five. Then worship for wonderful lamb. Number two, three is warning for wandering, wandering licentious, and licentious. Let's see from point, uh, point number one. Word on the land, on the wonderful land. The land, the Jerusalem, the city where Christ is land. Some of the examples and people and things that are there, the, con the content. We are seeing some things here as we read. He said, and it's you me a pure rivers of water of life, clear as crystal, presenting out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Can you see? In the land, this is what you see. In the midst of the street, that's the land. Of it, on the other side of the river, was there tree of life, not death. Anything dead will not be in the kingdom. He said, which bear twelve manner of fruit, and yielded a fruit every month. That is regularly. Regularly. He said, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. Even here, when we stand right, we enjoy actually giving our life as healing, as solution to other people. Verse 3, and there have, there have been no more cause. Of course, no more cause when you make it to heaven. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and the, the, and the servant shall serve him. And let me tell you, the Bible has told us that, of course, there is no incantation against us, no divination against us. If we stand as Jacob, if we stand as Israel, spiritual Israel, the Jew that is washed by the blood of Jesus, and that's why I come to you today. Listen, you want to be people who does not have cause. Jesus attended the cause on the tree, and cause is he that is hung on the tree. And if you come to Jesus, you receive him, confess your sins, and repent, and accept him. No more cause. Because the worst cause is in hell. But those in heaven, no more cause. Do you want to go with us? Repent. Renounce. Reject Satan and accept Jesus Christ. Receive Jesus today and he will come into you. God bless you as you are actually looking at your life and being sincere to yourself. And humble yourself and call on God and repent. And actually confess your sin, repent and call Jesus to your life. He will accept you. His hand is not actually sure to receive. His ear is not heavy to hear. It is iniquity that separates between we and our God. And his eye is too pure that to behold iniquity. So today, all you need to do is just say, I'm sorry, forgive me. And we actually can't word in verse 4. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their forehead. Should that it be? You see the face of God eventually in the land, in the city where Jesus Christ is the land. Verse 5. And there shall be no, no light night there. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and never. We shall reign in Jesus' name. That's why I actually put my life in Christ and he accepted me by grace that I will reign with the Lord Jesus Christ. Point number two is worship for wonderful land. We are here to worship. And to show appreciation, did you see what the psalmist says in Psalm 34, verse 3? Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Let's do that. But let's look at verse 8, 9 to know who are we to worship. How do we worship? How do we even go? Do have time to say how do what? But who do we worship? Look at verse upon verse 8. And I, John, saw the things and had, and had uh, them. And when I had, when I had had, and sing, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Angels are messengers. He said in verse 9, Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophet, and of them which keep the saints of this book, this book, of this book, worship God. All of us, we are in the same category. You are, you are actually uh, of the Lord. I am sent of the Lord. So as it is so don't worship me. Angels are not meant to the worship. Now, do you worship a, a man in the image? Don't do that. Jesus is to be worshipped. The lamb is to be worshipped. And if we worship him in Jesus' name, and we're going to appreciate him, that God, thank you so much 
for the revelation time. Thank you for, so much for the soul you have saved. Thank you so much for the uh, enlightenment of our cause. Thank you for so much for making it the world to move further. We appreciate you so much. What you did all over, we are happy all over. Everywhere we are hearing good news concerning what the people of God are doing and the way people are willing in the day of his power. You gave the power here and by the grace of God, we will not let you down. You will give us enablement and we appreciate that you are with us and we can see it gladly. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's go to the final point. Warning for wandering and licentious. God is to be worshipped. God is to be praised. God is to be thanked. God is to be appreciated, but not with a dirty hand. Not the mind that is unrighteous. Look at the warning here, and let's see it from verse 10 to 15. As God will help us. And he said unto him, Seal not the saying of the prophecy of the book, for the time is at hand. Don't seal it again. Tell it to them. Verse 11. And he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Follow peace with all men. And holiness, for without it, no man shall see the Lord. I can tell you that you buy from the Lord what makes you to be pure, to be holy, following. Because holiness is the key. Our Father is holy. We need to be holy and that by faith. Look at what the Bible told us so that we not just uh, be still reading for reading's sake. And I pray the Lord in his merciful way is going to help us in Jesus' name. Are you, are you already in Luke with me? Let's go there from, let's go there and I read to you so that you see what the Bible says in Jesus' name. Luke 1, I, read, I want to read 75 by this 74 so that I read from 74. That, they, that he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of the enemies by serving without fear. From today, no more fear. No more intimidation. No more going back. He said, verse 17, this verse, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Now, he has told us what to do. He warned because of licentiousness, unfieldiness, on being unjust. But he said, he wants us to remain Still only. That's why here we are. We pick what is good for the kingdom so that we can be potential worshippers. We can be worshippers in the kingdom in heaven. Let's continue as we see what the Bible will say. Verse 12, and, I'm, and behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, the first and the last. Why would you thank God? The the owner of all things, the author of all things, the one that is worthy is talking to us. And that is why we are happy in this, se in this season of Revelation time of reading the word. Verse 14. Bless and they that do his commandment. Mark that one, your brother. We need, if you love me, you keep my commandment. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate into the city. The essence of us, knowing the Lord, is that we are one. To desist from sin and unrighteousness, to accept Jesus Christ, and to be able to keep his commandment, so that we have as right to the tree of life and we can enter through the gate to the city. Nobody will devour because we have the certificate of grace in our hand. I say, Come in, my good servant. Welcome, my good servant. Verse 15, finally, so that you see, you will not be you will not be etched out, you will not be sent out, you will not be removed, you will not be actually ex excused. Say, Excuse me. That's not your portion in Jesus' name. Me and you, we shall be in heaven. But look at the warning. The wandering and the licentious, verse 15. And without, outside are dogs and sorcerers and all mongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Do you still lie? Change. Confess. Repent. Forsake. I said, Jesus, and he will help you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much because you are worthy to be worshipped. And we appreciate what we have done. Father, none of us will worship, O oh Lord, here and go to hell. We shall be able to continuously worship in heaven because we have right to the tree of life. And by the grace of God, we will enter into the gate, into the city where Christ, the Lamb, is the light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.